Hello and welcome back. Now we're gonna jump right into creating user flows in just a second. What I wanna do is I wanna make our workflow just a bit better. We have these pieces here. Let's go over to our layers panel. If you notice that they're just basically their own kind of rectangles and stuff like that. And that kind of isn't that good for reusability. We're actually gonna pull some of these out and we're just gonna create like a little components page. That's what we're gonna name it, components. And I'm gonna show you how to create some reusable components pretty quickly. Okay, so let's pull some of these out. We can delete that, we can delete that. I'm not sure about all the different types of components we're going to need, but this is a good starting point. I think that's fine. Actually, that's pretty repetitive. Maybe we'll create some header copy. Maybe this is some other copy. So we're kind of just creating some concepts based off of our user flows. Our interfaces don't necessarily need to be super detailed right now. We can refine those over time. And we're going to definitely refine those when we start our wireframes. Now, how to create a component. So this is going to be our screen background. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click or you can actually go up to here. The short form for it is um, option command K. So if we just command Z, option command K creates that as a component. And what we can do here is we can create a new one. I've option shift clicked. And that is now an instance. You'll notice it in the panel down here. So this is now an instance and you can create new components from this instance. But one interesting thing is if I click that and I start modifying that, it modifies the actual instance as well. So the instance will inherit pretty much everything from the master component. It's a great way to create a lot of clarity within your product. It's a great way to actually just have some consistency, even when you're thinking about user flows or something as simple as that. So that's what I'd like to do. Let's group rename these as, well, so command R and we're selecting all of them and we'll just call these uh, text. And we'll group them in a frame. And that frame is essentially, we'll, we'll call that text and option command K to create a component. And there we go, we have a text component. And all of a sudden, now we can start putting things together. So we have a text component. Let's do it for the arrow over here. Command K for the arrow. Uh, we'll call this one large product. So large product. option command K. We'll keep these very close together because, you know, they help us with our flow. So we have that. We'll call this headline option command K. And really, there is no perfect way of doing this. If you want to follow along, I advise you yeah, just use our resource that we have there. And you can definitely start creating components as well. So we have large product, we have text, maybe this is field. So field, option command K, there we go, we got a field, we can even make that smaller. So uh, it's set to scale currently, but if I adjust the constraints to top and bottom, now it's going to actually work with the frame. Okay, that's great. These are small products. So I'm gonna batch rename them so I have them all selected. Command R and I'll call them small products. Small products. And option command K with them selected will create a frame and that component and that component will name it small products. Great. Um, hmm, what should we call this? So we can just call this confirmation. And this one, let's group the field. 
together. Oops, let's put the button there. Perfect. So this one's going to be our button. Option command K and perfect. So now we kind of have our own UI here. Let's see what else we can do. We can make everything pretty equal. This one, if we want to have it like as a carousel, we'll just keep it like that for now. Everything else looks about good. We're ready basically to start creating our own components. And we're ready to start creating our user flows. So what we're going to do here, just to give you just a sample on how this works. Um, option and dragging. So if I have that there, I have a headline. I have another one here. I can alter this component if I want. That's totally fine. That's good. We can take this component and then have a button. And there you go. We've created like a really simple concept page here. And it's kind of like our messy sketches that we had before. And now we can start creating more components or we can start creating more screens from this. Next, we're going to jump into actually creating a user flow.